It's Juan and Mason again uh -huh. for Pedals and Effects. So we're gonna uh, showcase this Lex pedal, which is by Strymon. And that is a it's a Leslie simulator. And so um, we're gonna also we we wanted to put a little uh, you know drive in front of it. So we're using the Earthquaker Devices speaker cranker. Awesome. Which is it's a, it's just a, basically a light overdrive. It's really simple. Obviously, you've got the one knob, just as more really straightforward. Um, I was using an old TS-808, that was my main overdrive, I mean you can't beat a TS-808, TS excuse me. But when I got this thing, uh, just that one knob, and it just is so yeah. transparent sounding, you just turn it on and it just, it keeps your, and no matter what amp or guitar I'm using, it's always been that sound, it just gives you a little bit more, I mean, just like the knob says, I mean if I turn it off, I'll start just, I'm on the middle position so I got both pickups on. <laughs> Drive, nothing much, just pushing the amp a little bit. I'll turn this guy on. Even all the way down, I mean, you can hear the difference of what it's doing. It's like, it makes it a little sparkly, just kind of pushes out of the amp a little more. Such an amazing pedal. It's like hundred bucks or something. Yeah. I don't know. It's great. It's my main overdrive. And it's super, super percussive. Like, you know, you can hear yeah. it. Get in, it's just like it has that, that. Yeah, without it, I mean, it's like. Too, when you when you got turned up a little bit more, you could that low end didn't drop out. That low no. end of anything got enhanced. And yeah. It really, it, it kind of reminds me of my Boss ES2 and the way it works with my bass. Like it, it just puts up the stuff that you really want, which is like the low end, you know, focus and definition, and then that percussiveness and the attack. I love that. It's really a great pedal. I mean, there's not a lot to it, but you don't need it. You just right. turn it on. It just automatically, just kind of one of those always on, like makes your guitar better. Like a talent <laughs> right. pedal, you know. Right. I don't know. So let's uh let's go to the uh, Lex pedal Lex. by Strymon, man. I love the Lex. Uh, like it's got to be one of the hardest things ever to do is to put a Leslie in a box. I mean, there's so many things that go into what makes a Leslie, you know, sound like a Leslie. You got the speakers, and yeah. there you got the rotors going opposite directions. They're reflecting in the room. It's it's crazy. A lot of people have tried to do it. In my opinion, like the Strymon Lex is by far like the closest to a real Leslie. Wow. Um, I use a Fender Vibratone on stage almost every gig, and when I can't get that on stage. I use the Lex, and not once yet in the past like six or seven months since I've had the Lex has any sound guy said, hey, that doesn't sound right. They, it right. sounds like Leslie. It really does. Yeah. Simple to use. Uh, you just have a knob for fast rotor speed. Uh, the top horn level, because that horn that's on top of a Leslie is what gives it really that kind of Doppler effect. Right. So you can control that. Um, mic distance. So the further away you have a microphone from a Leslie, the more subtle it's going to be. Right up front, it's really warbly, really, you know, in your face. Right. And then preamp drive. Leslie's have a very particular mid sure. drive kind of overdrive. It's so sick. Yeah. It's so yeah. cool. And no pedal sounds like it really. So they threw it on this pedal and it, and it does. It sounds like that preamp drive. So we'll start it. Yeah. Uh, start in the slow setting. Do the same thing with the Leslie on in the slow setting. setting, you'll hear, even though it's going through one speaker, you'll hear both the bass rotor and the treble high rotor going at different speeds. They have it going on, I don't know how, but they do it. <laughs> so here, why don't you click the slow fast. Everything to do with it, throw it on the fast setting. 
Like the mean just like you know, and I just notice how you can see the speed go. Yeah. It starts off the LED starts off slow and it starts picking up speed. That's so awesome. It's so sick, man. Um, Drive too, so you can hear that. I've got it a little behind noon right now. I'll crank it, and you can hear that. Speaker cranker in front of it, and let's watch. Uh, oh. adapts to it and yeah and really man like being able to go in between those speeds just like in an improv section whether you're soloing or whatever it's going to inspire you to do different things and i i can tell that that has a truckload of that in there no that's the thing is like to me the more years i've had playing guitar as a session player the more i realize it doesn't matter if it's a vintage pedal or if it's super valuable if it's cheap as hell it's like if it makes you feel good, if it's that feeling right. that you get from playing it, and it's hard to find that. That's the hardest thing to find. Yeah, right. Is finding a pedal that when you like the second you turn it on, you feel it more than you hear it. You know? Right. And the Lex is totally like that for me, as is the speaker cranker. You, you know, like this pedal, I've used you know in conjunction with a couple other pedals, like you know more modulation pedals. Sure. But it just the sounds I got out of it, I just flipped out, and I was like the 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 high fi technology that went into this to be able to recreate is just beyond. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. Yeah. yeah. Everything Strymon does is pretty up there. Right. They, they really have like these fidelity, audio fidelity guys going in there and going, we're going to create the best, you know, Leslie simulator or whatever. The tape delay. Right. Their reverb that they do. Everything they do is like on that level of just, you can't believe what you're hearing. Yeah. So speaker cranker, Mike Strymon, Mason, Juan. <laughs> 